Welcome back to the final, final, final video out of this lab, video number 12. So if you haven't watched any of the videos, make sure you go back and watch the previous videos. And once again, I've been so excited on me walking you through this process. And if you like the videos, what I'm going to ask you to do is to share the videos with other people in the IT community. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to follow us on Facebook. We are really putting a lot of effort, a lot of time to create these videos. You know, we're thinking how Network Engineer Academy can come up to the market and be completely different than everyone else, than everyone else. And that's our objective. And that's exactly how, you know, we work really hard day by day on providing the best we can. Okay. And by the way, don't forget to take a look at the coaching program that I'm offering. Okay. It's a coaching program. It's a 12 week. It's a really like, you have to take a look at it. Okay. So this is a final video and we were talking about the OSPF and the previous video we configure this router with OSPF and just a few things, not like everything, just kind of like the main things for them to be able to communicate. Okay. Now, right away, what I did. Okay. So I can go, let me exit out from here and let me do this. Okay. Show the running configuration so that I can show you. Okay. We've done that. I know. Uh, oh, I think I already passed that. So once again, now I'm trying to get this done under 10 minutes. Okay, so right there. Bam, those are the two networks that we have attached to it, and that's basically the ones that we want to uh, advertise, okay? So now let's go, okay? Let's go to this router and do the same. Now this router has three networks, right? It has the 172, the 210. Oh, my bad, it has four networks, okay? It has the 192. Uh, the two VLANs, the 210, 1, and the 172, okay? So that's a few ways to do it on this side. We can advertise two, be very specific, or we can just advertise one network and make sure that that network uh, covers the two networks, the two VLANs, and that's exactly what I'm gonna walk you through, okay? So let's jump in on that router, and I'm gonna go fast because that's basically the same command. That's probably one command more that I'm gonna be uh, showing you. So config T. So let me do, come on, come on. Let's do this router OSPF. And I'm gonna use the same uh, router, um, not router, the ID. 90, yes, there was 99 that I used. And in this case, I'm not gonna choose the routing ID. Uh, I'm not, I'm just gonna let the router to go through the process. And more likely he's gonna choose one of the, the biggest IP address of the interface that it's up and running um, up and up all the time on the router. So, Let's start advertising the network. So it's network, and I'm gonna do this one first, okay? So that's gonna be 192, 168, and once again, what I can do is be very specific and advertise both networks one by one. And what I can, what I can do is do this, zero, and then I have to do uh, zero, 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 127. But I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do 255. And that basically is like, I'm telling Blaze and the wild mask, like, look, about the 192, make sure it has a 192. The second acted, it's zero. That means 168. Yes, make sure the network that you're gonna advertise, it has a 168. Make sure it has the same number. The third acted, zero. That means the same. Make sure, and the third acted, it has the number one. Make sure. Now, that 255 means it can be any number. I don't care what's the number and the last acted. Don't care. Okay, and that's how we're gonna be able to advertise that both networks just by putting this statement, okay? So now I'm gonna do area zero, boom. Now let's go to the other network, so it's network, and let me move this on the side so that I can see the IPs. Okay, so one of them is 172, and that's 16, and that's one, and that's zero, and what's the opposite of that summit mask? And that's zero, 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 three. And once again, area, oops, wait, area zero. And once again, network, and the other one is 210. Oh, what happened? Oh, what happened? You see, boom, okay? You see, now it's, uh, it came with a neighbor. It went to the full, it's a process that, and it will, it probably take me two videos and walking you through and what just happened and that process behind the scenes, okay? 
But right now they're full, so basically they are now exchanging information. They became neighbors, like best buddies, I guess. Okay, so let me go back and finish the other one. So it's 2, 10, um, that 15, that 20, that uh, 0, I guess. Yes. And then what's the opposite of 28? The ascendant mass, that's 0, 0, 0, and that's 15. And that's area 0. Bam! We're good. So we have those three networks up and running. Now, at this point, this is something um, that I'm going to do. Here on this router, we do not, once again, we do not have another router at this end. So we, that's no need for this router to advertise, so trying to send hello messages on this part of the network because we do not have any routers. So once again, hello messages, they're going to start like, you know, like saying hello, hello, hello every 10, 40 seconds, hello, hello, hello. Uh, to the connections, right? To the connections, they're up and up. And that's no point for those hello messages to go to this network because at the other end, there is no router, so that's no need. So this is exactly what I'm gonna do. And this router, I'm gonna tell, do not send other, I mean, hellos out of this port, okay? And just to make sure, what's this port? I have no idea, I forgot. So I'm gonna put it on one, I think it was one, yes. Um, so yes, so this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, uh, I can do question mark. Once again, you don't have to be a genius. And then I'm going to be, oh, now I remember. Passive interface, and that's gigabit 01. Boom. Okay, so now I told the router, do not send hello through this port. That's no need. That's no router at the other end. So we're good so far. Okay, so now let me just save this. Oops. Okay, and let's go to the last router. So this one, once again, I'm going to go fast because I want to get this done. Last video. So let me advertise the first network. So this is router OSPF 99. Um, and then I'm, router ID, I'm just going to let the router to go to the process himself. And then what I'm going to do is, come on, come on, come on, network, network. And that's 10, 10, 10. Now, I'm going to do the same. Right here, I can be very specific. Or I can do 10, 0, 0, 0. Okay, why well, can be very specific either or it's gonna work. But you know what? And the other one, I was like, whatever, you know, like I'm gonna put one um, uh, network, but making sure that, that both there are advertised with that 192. And this one, I can do the same, but no, I'm gonna do it specific. So I'm gonna do it this way 10, 10, 10, 0, and then the wild mask, and that's 255. And then I'm gonna make sure it's area 0, enter, and the other one is 10, 10, 100. That's zero, and the opposite, that will be 240, that will be 15. And area zero, bam. Now, I'm gonna do the same here. As you see, now we have another, uh, um, they became neighbors, just to put it that way, okay? But just forget about that right now. What I'm gonna do on this same router, when, uh, right here, I'm gonna do the same. We do not have a router at this part, we don't. So I don't want this router to send hello messages, trying to, you know, become neighbors with routers over here where, where, where there is no routers on that port, okay? And that port, I think it's zero, zero. So I'm gonna make sure, yeah, that was zero, zero. So I'm gonna do that passive interface, gigabit zero, zero, bam. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out, save it. Now, now, now now and that's many things that we can do but now this is what i'm gonna do last test this and see if i have to do another video for troubleshooting or not okay so uh i'm gonna ping from this computer to the youtube that we couldn't before and then these two pcs let's do that oh just one even with just with one pc so uh 210 15 20 okay and i think i already had it yes uh let me see 2, 10, 15, there we go. And let's see if something happens, come on, come on. Don't let me down. That's fine, you know, the first is the ARP request, so that's fine, so we are able to go all the way to YouTube, yes. So now the other one, so that's ping, and let's ping one of the computers all the way at the end. 182, 168, 16, that's one of them, and probably it's gonna be the same uh, thing, that one, the, the first is gonna, the request time out, and boom! We're able to connect. So let's try the other one that's in another VLAN, the 150. And it better work. If not, we're going to have to, uh, boom, right away. So we were able to, okay? 
we were able to do the lab. And I didn't have any notes in front of me, okay? But once again, once you kind of know something, it's not for you to jump into the next thing, no. Take your time, analyze the things, and, and see like, okay, what else can I do? Because I wanna make sure that three months from today, you know, one year from today, I'm still able to go through this process myself because I really went through this process and learning uh, this the right way. And that's another thing that I teach on the coaching program, the process of learning how to learn the right way. And that's more for us, okay, the IT engineers. I went through many training uh, and courses for this because that's basically one of the things that my mentor told me to do. Like, Jorge, if you wanna go through uh, through life now that that's a lot of information out there make sure you go through the process you know learning the right way and for you to accelerate the process as well so anyways we are finally able to now another thing that i'm going to ask you to do because i don't want to make another video is do this you know do do uh, i mean show ip or spf do a question mark and try some of those. You know, one of them that you can try right now, it's the neighbors. And it will tell you a lot of information about the neighbors, like right here. You know, when you have this, what that means is the dash, it's on that end, it's a point to point connection. Point to point connection. Now, when you have the BDR, it's because either or, it's the backup data router or the designated router, okay? And that's, once again, that probably, I have to cover that in one or two videos and exactly what that is. A backup, designated router, and the designated router, and the process it goes through. But yeah, you can see the neighbors that you have, the IP and everything else. I mean, you can take a look at the port and also another thing right away. I'm gonna do show IP protocols and bam, it will tell you, hey, by the way, you are running OSPF, you know, um, that's the, one, the, the process ID that you choose and to give you some other information, the networks that you are advertising, your router ID, and so much more. And you see that default, the 110, oh, before ending, the 110. Remember that I talk about the administrative distance, so let me do this. Show IP route, bam. So this is, that was a good thing, so I really wanted to show you this. Okay, you see, so now we have the static, now we have a few O's. And the O's, that mean that I was able to learn that network through OSPF. And that's basically the administrative distance, the one pin, okay? So yeah, that will tell you like, if you're unable to connect to one network, you need to take a look at the routing table to make sure that that network is there. And if it's not, it's not time for you to troubleshoot something. So I hope I went through this process and giving you a lot of valuable information and content that you can apply. And I know for some of you, you already know a lot of this, but probably by now you're like, okay, now, I get it, now I can put it in. Now I find a way, I was able to find a way for me to explain it to somebody else. You know, because that makes a huge difference in your IT career. So once again, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to watch other videos from us, from Network Engineer Academy, and that's a lot more coming. And we are uh, creating a lot of training that we're gonna put on the market in the next few months, because once again, we really wanna help you, for you to fucking accelerate your IT career, because it's possible, I did it. High school dropout, barely able to speak English, and yes, I was able to make the six figures in the IT field, and I wanna show you how in record time, because it's possible. So, I'm gonna talk to you in another video. Once again, my name, Jorge Armando Navarro, and I will talk to you soon.